Hey guys, if you can hear me, let me know. I'm in my new house, so I just wanna make sure that you guys can hear me and that you guys are all here. Hi, Celine. Okay, good. You guys can hear me? Hi, Jennifer. <laughs> okay, good. I'm glad. I just want to make sure you guys can hear me. I got some stuff to show you guys. Just wanted to catch up on things. Hi, Susanna. Hi, Julie. Okay, great. Yay. <laughs> Hi, Lavanya, how are you? <laughs> Hi, Dominica. So I am in my new place right now. So I just, I'm actually still in Illinois. I live in central Illinois, Champaign-Urbana. So um, I'm about two, two and a half hours away from um, Chicago. Hi, Dawn. Salam alaikum. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so glad you guys are joining me. So I just recently moved. Um, right before I went to Vegas, I moved. And then after I came back, hi, Grace. After I came back, Thank you, Susanna. Oh my God, yes. The girl who did my lashes, the lash, so for those of you who don't know, I actually got a lash lift. And so they take your real lashes. And I had it done three months ago as well, but the lady who did my lash lift at that time, she didn't curl it as much as I wanted. She used um, like a thing that is meant for long lashes. And so it didn't really curl my lashes. It was just like a, like a, you know, just a swoop more. Hi, Lauren. And so what ended up happening then, I went to another girl at the same salon that um, just recently started. Yeah, that's just a lash lift and mascara. Yep. And so she, um, hi, MK. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, let me, let me try her out. She's new. And I told her, I'm like, look, I want them to be like, super curled, C curl, whatever it is that you call. I want them, I don't care if they're touching my skin. I want them to be like super curled. And then I asked her, I'm like, should I get them tinted? And she's like, no, your lashes are already black. I'm wearing the Giorgio Armani, um, hello, Natasha, Giorgio Armani um, uh, eccentrical mascara, which is like one of my favorite Holy Grail mascaras. Yeah, doesn't it look so good, you guys? I like absolutely love it. And I, you know, I have long lashes. So even when I don't wear any mascara, it just makes me look so much better. Like awake, you know, like I'm like, whoa, I wake up in the morning and I look and I'm like, damn. Hi, Laura Lee. Thank you. Yeah, I really like the way they look. I'm really happy with how they look. It's so funny. Like today I got a massage and like I had my face in that like cradle thing. And then when I got up, they were like all like over the place. Uh, where would you go for lash work? So I go to um, Salon 1800. That's in Lincoln Park in Chicago. Um, the girl who does my did my lash lift was her name's Mackenzie. So and it was um, eighty five dollars. So and it lasts anywhere between two to three months. I think for me, like by that that three month mark was way too long. I think I'm going to get it done like every like eight to 10 weeks. That's what I'm kind of thinking because I really, really, really like it a lot. And I'm like one of those people. Um, my, I'm, they look so pretty, but I'm afraid because my eyes tear. Um, you know what? Yeah, they, it is. It, it's basically a perm for your eyelids, but your, I mean, your eyelashes, but your eyes are closed the entire time. And it didn't, you're like literally like just laying there the entire time with your eyes closed. I found my lash gal in local mom's group. Nice. Yeah, they, it, it, Laura, they do use chemicals though. It is like a lash perm. So if that's something that you're not 
into, then um, thank you, Celine. <laughs> if you're not into the, the chemicals or, and you're trying to avoid that kind of stuff, I totally understand. Um, but um, hi, Brenda. Thank you. So, um, Julie, you had a lash, um, a lash lift done, and they ruined your lashes. Um, Charlotte, no, it's not painful at all. It's completely relaxing. I kind of like almost fell asleep on the table. You know, I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you're if you have sensitive eyes, I mean, she does like shield the actual skin. Like your lower lash line is like taped down by this like lash tape that so those stay out and then the skin is completely shielded. So, I mean, I would at least maybe get a consultation and see, um, see what, what, what your the person, the esthetician is able to do. Yeah. I try to avoid fragrance in my skincare and makeup, which is so hard. Yeah. Yeah. If you're sensitive to that kind of stuff, then I, yeah, I understand, but you know, it's just one of those things. Okay, so I'm anxiously waiting for your cat. My cat. Oh, I don't have any cats in here. I'll show you one. Give me a second. Sorry guys, I want to show you my newest kitten. Her name's uh, Gizmo. She's a blue golden Persian. I'm right here. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just wanted to grab the cat. I wanted her to come say hi to you. Yeah, her name's Gizmo. She's a blue golden Persian. She is so cute. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. So I do have a bunch of stuff that I want to show you guys. First of all, yeah, she does look like the gremlins. I got the new pillow talk palette and I have not opened it yet. So I thought this would be a good opportunity for me to open it. So first of all, I think the, the packaging is really cute. So I don't know if you guys can see. It has like that texture kind of on it. Um, have you tried any of the Surat foundations? Yes, my favorite foundation of 2019 was the Surat Dewdrop Foundation, and I'm the shade um, number nine. Oh, thanks, Lauren. I love Michelle. That's my girl, man. I love her. That's my homie. So let me go ahead and open this up for you guys because I've been looking forward to. Okay. Okay, so she went back to the gold. Yeah, I was watching her do the video with Tati right before I went on live. So she went back to the gold packaging for it. Actually, it's, it is a, oh, it's rose, it is a rose gold. It's rose gold. It's rose gold packaging. I think the first one that she did was gold and it looked just like this. Okay, and so let's open this up. So you got that plastic here. So if you like these colors, I think then you'll be liking like liking this too. Hi Yvette, hello. Could you recommend a good travel retractable kabuki brush? I've been looking at Chanel or the little white Tom Ford. Um, the Chanel kabuki travel brush is a nice one. Yeah, this is really, really pretty. Yeah, I'm like, because I went on vacation and then I, with the moving and everything, I'm like totally late to the game when it comes to reviewing. And I was like, I saw other YouTubers put their video up and I was like, oh God, and they like totally kicked, kicked my ass when it comes to getting it on up there. Uh, reviewers using all the shades. Oh, I got to take a look at that, Susanna. 
So yeah, it's really, really pretty. I love the colors in that palette, but I'm very fair and worried the reddish pinks will make my eyes look irritated. Um, do you mean like these? Are you worried about like this, these colors, the dream part? Cause they look very fuchsia. So if fuchsia like colors kind of look good on you or like have that kind of color story where it's like a brighter pink, I wouldn't, I don't really see much red in them. I see more of like that, like fuchsia colors. Let's take a look. Okay, so let's do some swatches. All right, so this is the day, day pal, day colors. Yeah, she is coming out with a Pillow Talk highlighting um, one. It's just, I just don't know when it's coming out because her PR team sucks. I'll just tell you that straight up. They just freaking suck. I like send them emails and they like, don't get back to you. Um, okay, then this is the desk. They don't look orange to me. So they look definitely more on the pink side. So this is like... I wouldn't consider this orange either. This is more of like a pinky coral. Pinky coral, right? And then let's look at the date eye. Yes, I also got, I went ahead and I bought the other two um, lip liner shades, the Pillow Talk Medium, Pillow Talk Intense, and I also bought the Pillow Talk yeah, Pillow Talk Medium and Intense in the liner and the lip liner. I bought the new blush. I bought the new eyeliner. So all of that stuff is coming, and I'll get that up in a video. But let's go ahead and let me show you guys the date eye. So that's this one right here. This one's more of like your chocolatey brown colors. Okay, so Lavanya is saying that Light Wand comes out on the 26th and the Lip Bath on the 30th. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. And then this is the Dream. This is the one that is the darkest pink. Let's see what this looks like. So kind of definitely more in the pink family. Mona, you need the top four cream and shadow and cream and shadow in reflection. You would love it. Oh, I, I in reflection. I don't know what, is that? A, I don't think I have that one. So here is the dream eye, very, very pretty. So here are my ghetto swatches <laughs> for you guys. You want that cat? Oh my God, isn't she so sweet? She's such a sweet cat. So I got some other stuff, so let me show you guys. So I got some um, um, PR from Dr. Dennis Gross. So I got some skincare. Now this is a product that I've already been using and I already did a review on. This is the Dr. Dennis Gross clinical grade resurfacing peel. So I got that. This is the one that comes with, oh, let me see. I can open this up. Yeah, there you go. This is the one with the two steps. This is the clinical grade one. And it's really good. I really like it a lot. And then they sent me, um, their alpha beta extra strength day peels. I haven't, I usually use these every day, but I stopped because I'm moving and I don't know where everything is, but I'm gonna go ahead and crack this one open and start using it. And then they sent me their hyaluronic marine hydration booster because I asked them for it. Cause they were like, I was like, I've tried out pretty much the entire line, but I really have been wanting to try the Hy hyaluronic marine hydration booster. So you can add this to just about anything. So let's go ahead and I want to see how this texture feels on the back of my hand. Yeah, it's like a nice thin watery texture, which is exactly how you want. A hyd oh, it smells so good. A hydration booster to be like, you want it to be able to be thin and watery so it just sinks right into your skin. And then I also, I also got, they sent me their, um, their new serum, the Alpha Beta Pore Perfecting and Refining Serum. I actually already started using this too. Okay. 
I'm sorry, double check. You are signed up for everything. I think I am signed up for everything. So here's this as well. So this is their Alpha Beta Pore Perfecting Refining Serum. Hi, Randy. How are you? So this one is supposed to be for like minimizing pores and um, helping keep your pores clean and um, small and perfecting them and refining them. So yes, looking forward to that. I always love some new skincare. Skincare is like so essential. So how have you guys day been? I had a shitty day. <laughs> I did, it started off really well. I mean, so yesterday I moved out all of my stuff. Oh yeah, I'll let you know Brenda what I think of it about the pore refining serum. So far I've been using it, I like it. I think it's, it works really well, it's really nice. But um, you're sucked as well. Yeah, hi Chris, hello. Yeah, you know, this, is, this has been a tough week and so I moved all my stuff out, got everything out of that house, took several trips yesterday, got the last minute things out, had my cleaning lady clean it, had her shampoo the carpets, had her do everything. And then, so basically what's going on. Um, oh, so Sandy, let me let you know. So I live in central Illinois. Or just in this house that I'm, I'm staying in right now, I'm going to only be there here for like six months because I'm actually moving to Michigan in June. Oh, it's saying my connection is stable. Can you guys still hear me? Just want to make sure. Okay. How do you juggle everything? You're so up to date on everything, plus a freaking doctor. You know, um, I get asked that. Oh, it seems like a lot because people always wonder, they're like, how do you like handle doing this and this and this and this? And I'm honestly, I have the same amount of time um, of hours, the same amount of hours in the day that you, you guys do. It's all about, yes, Michigan is very cold. It's all about, you're not gonna be able to take care of everything all at once, you know? It's about prioritizing. And um, I, one of the things that I've learned, you know, going through, oh, I'm, we're in Michigan, so I'm gonna be going to um, a suburb of Detroit called Garden City. So I'm gonna be going there, and I got a job there that I'm really excited about, that I'm really happy about, and I'll be moving there in June. So I'm gonna be here for six months and then moving again. So it's gonna be quite, um, Yes, my pets do get a well, get along well together. Thank God. You know, my two dogs are in this room with me. And um, thank you, thanks, Brenda. Thank you so much. So, and then my like former landlord was like pick, nitpicking every little thing in the house, and I was like, dude, like I've lived there for two years. Of course, the paint is not going to be perfect. Of course the carpet is going to be a little tethered. I had fucking cats, you know what I'm sorry. <laughs> but like, for God's sakes, thank you so much, Lauren. Thank you. You know, it's like, you're, you know, someone lived there for two, when I used to be a homeowner and, um, or a, a, um, an investment owner of a condo, you know, like after somebody, someone lived there for two years, I changed the carpet. You get the room, the, the condo repainted. Are you able to share what job you are taking up? Yeah, so so one of the things that you guys, um, I never really like talked about it on my channel because I'm always so focused on obstetrics and gynecology and is that I'm actually, I did two residencies. I did residency in obstetrics and gynecology and I also did residency in family medicine. So I'm double boarded. So I'm board certified in um, family medicine and also I'm going, I'm going to be board certified in OBGYN. I have to take my oral boards. So right now I took my written boards, those are done. And maybe soon, uh, once I finally get a chance, I'll take my written boards. And then I'm gonna be double boarded in family medicine and in obstetrics and gynecology. So the position that I'm taking in Michigan is for basically both fields and being able to make my own practice. So, and what I'm always wanted to do, so I've always loved teaching. That's one of some, something that I've always enjoyed doing. 
I always love working with other residents, um, medical students, um, and be a part of kind of, um, you know, being advancing the future of, phys of physicians. And so what I really want to do is, um, oh, Lash Love, I am, I have, if, I mean, this room, you guys can't see it, has boxes and it has all of, thank you guys so much, all of my makeup in boxes. So I didn't get a chance to declutter before I moved. So I'm going to be doing declutter videos where we're just going to go from one box to the next to the next. So we will be doing that. So the job is a job where I get to combine both of my fields and combine working in both the family medicine residency and the obstetrics and gynecology residency and be a like bridge or a conduit between the um, two residency programs to help the residents, family medicine residents get more of a um, better women's health and obstetrics teaching and curriculum. And then for the obstetrics and gynecology residents to get more primary care um, type of um, curriculum in their um, residency as well. So they learn. So it's because, I mean, you guys are, majority of, of you guys in here are women and you guys understand that women a lot of times um, go to their uh, gynecologist or their obstetrician for a lot of their medical um, needs. And this way then, so you kind of have to be up to par with what Oh, uh, thanks, Brenda. <laughs> you know, I am such a nerd. Like, I am like this. I'm totally such a nerd. Like, I like studying. You know, I like going to Starbucks and learning and like it being, you know, up to date on things and knowing a lot about. I actually truly love medicine. I mean, you know, like that's something I truly love. And it's funny because like I'm the third of five children, and I was the only one. Like my father's a physician. My mom was a nurse. And I, I, out of five kids, I was the only one that they did not like push to do medicine. And I'm the only one that ended up doing it. And it's whenever you ask them, they're like, we just, we just knew that you were going to become something big. And I was like, thanks mom. Thanks dad. So my goal, and this is what the, this, um, this place in, um, uh, Michigan is going to help me with. My goal is to have a one-stop shop women's healthcare center. And that's where my glam doctor Mona brand kind of is going to come in. I don't know how or what, but what I'm kind of thinking is, um, I really want to, um, Oh, Anna, I will talk about my microneedling experience. I, I see that. So, um, so my goal is to eventually do a one-stop shop where women can go and they can get their primary care needs done, their women's health needs done. And of course, cause I love this stuff. I love aesthetic medicine. So I'm going to have a med spa. So I want to do Botox. I want to do filler. I want to do non-invasive procedures. I want to do cool sculpting, um, M sculpt, all that kind of stuff. And that I really want that to be an all encompassing kind of, um, building practice. So women really have, and I'll probably get a, put a pharmacy in there, in, in there too, in a lab and things like that. So, okay. So my microneedling um, experience. The last two times I got it done was with, um, thanks guys. Um, last two times that I got it done was with, um, PRP, which I think makes a huge difference. And the PRP was injected. Not only is the PRP used topically. So when they're doing the microneedling, it gets soaked in into the little micro channels, but they also injected the PRP into the deeper dermal layers and massaged it. Uh, too bad I don't live in Michigan. I would want to work for you. Oh my God, thanks. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sandy. That would be like, you know, but you know, I'm my vision that I have for this is not something that I just see in one, in one area. You know what I mean? It's something that I hope to have in like multiple cities. Okay. Thank you, Lavanya. Thank you so much. Okay. Yes. So Lavanya wants us to let, remind us that the collagen lip bath for the pillow talk comes out on January 30th and the light wands on February 26th. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ah, uh, that's good. That's awesome. <laughs> so yeah, the microneedling, I'm going to be getting it done again on the 22nd. So that's going to be my third time. So thank you, Aisha. Thank you so much. Yeah, you know, it's it's a good idea for a gynecologist to have like a full medi spa because women 
it's easier for women to kind of have a go-to place and um, come on, like we all are self-obsessed with trying to look like the best versions of ourselves. So, okay. So I will never afford the Augustinus Botter. So would you be able to suggest a more affordable option? Okay. So if you don't like the Augustinus, if you think the Augustinus Botter is a little too um, much for you, I would go with the, um, Dr. Dennis Gross has some really good, um, um, what am I trying to say? Moisturizers. So one that I really, really, really like of his is the C plus collagen deep moisturizer. That one is really, really good. I really like that one a lot. And I also really like, um, I really like Charlotte's magic cream. I use that every day during the day in the colder months and it just works really well on my skin. So that's another option too. Uh, another one that I really like a lot. What kind of skin do you have, um, um, Jennifer? Uh, Stephanie, we can do makeovers. Oh my God, <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> mm. So let me show you guys. I got two new concealers that I wanna do videos for you guys. Um, I'm gonna do the Hourglass Vanish Concealer. I got it in the shade Beach. So very dry. Okay, so if you have very dry skin, um, try the um, Dr. Dennis Gross Hyaluronic Marine Moisturizer. So this is the Hourglass. Is microneedling okay for sensitive skin? Oh, um... How many treatments did you do? So as far as microneedling, Anna, for how many treatments I've done, I have done in the past, maybe like three years ago, I did five. This time around, I've only done two. And I'm going to do one more. So is it okay for sensitive skin? So I think that, I mean, is your skin sensitive to even, it depends on how, like when you say sensitive, are they sensitive to acids? Are they sensitive to fragrance? Um, what exactly, when you say sensitive, what is your skin sensitive for? Yeah, I would, of course, you know, I agree with you, Brenda. You should always get a consultation and find out what the um, dermatologist says because they would know exactly what kind of pen that they're using and what kind of depths they can go to and whether or not they're they're comfortable with doing it on somebody with sensitive skin. I personally, um, I don't have, like, sensitive skin. I have more, um, like, allergy-prone skin, if that makes any sense. So... Like I'm allergic to several different like things in the environment and I have idiopathic urticaria. So I have to take a Zyrtec twice a day and I can't use things like a lash curler because the, the metal from the lash curler actually irritates my skin right around here and my lid. That's why the lash lift works really well for me. Sensitive as in I have rosacea sucks. Yeah, you know what? You, there are other... Um, other things out there that are for um, people with rosacea. So I would go to your dermatologist and see what kind of services they have available because micro needling might not be what you need to get done. Maybe you need to get some sort of laser get done, something like that. So I would go and find out what kind of services they have. But let me show you guys. So I want to do a wear test on this tomorrow. So that's beach. It looks pretty light, but I tried it on in the store and it worked. It does give you, definitely gives you like a, a brightening effect to the eyes. Yeah, definitely go to a, do you do full glam every day? I'm curious how long it takes you to have, oh no. <laughs> so um, I don't do full glam every day. Um, I do, let's see, I definitely do quick eyebrows with the Charlotte Tilbury legendary brows. Um, I do a quick eye makeup look, like either it's with one couple of different shades and then like a quick eyeliner that I smudge or um, I don't do anything and I just put mascara on. Um, I don't, um, I don't always, it's either, so I don't ever do foundation and concealer when I go to work. I always do one or the other. I don't know why. <laughs> And then what I end up doing is like, for example, and this is the one I'm going to be testing out. I bet you I'm going to start putting it like just in the points of my face where I need to highlight and that's it. Or I end up actually putting foundation on and then a quick blush and that's it. And maybe I'll do my, um, 
my contouring a little bit with, but that's about it. It usually takes me 10 minutes. Like I'm very quick at it. Um, oh my gosh. Uh, you mentioned that condition. I was able to help a client when his metal watch band was bothering his wrist. Yeah, it, it, it happens. Yeah. So Brenda, I will be doing a, um, a review on that. The Botter 5 ml, 50 ml lasts me four months, one pump in the morning, big results on the forehead lines, did half cream is you don't really need anything else, but I do apply a um, essence on before because I feel like the Augustinus Botter just kind of soaks into, oh, you know what, should I do my review on the Augustinus Botter? Should I actually post a video on it? Because I don't know if I should or not because it's been spoken about so much. Like, do really does anybody really want to see it? Or is that something that's been over and done and killed and we don't need to do that? So Brenda says, yes, I'm curious about the concealer. I heard it wasn't very, you know, we're gonna have to, I'm gonna have to try it out. I tried it out in the store. It looked good to me. I liked it. I liked that it kind of auto set, uh, making me more jealous. <laughs> Yeah, but you know what though? I, I'll go through my collection and look at like things that I think will be a better alternative in terms of, or just as comparable. Um, did you manage to get a hold of the Rose Quartz Liquid Eyeshadows? Um, are you talking about, I did, I have that one. I did do a video on it as well. Um, okay, so uh, the Augustinus Botter Victoria Beckham Primer is awesome. So actually I'll probably review both of those in the same video. What is a Botter? Botter, <laughs> what's Botter? Um, what essence? So right now I'm using the Tasha essence. That's the one I'm using. And um, Botter is, Augustinus Botter is this um, German scientist who came up with this um, cream that has been super hyped, well loved by um, celebrities. It has like stem cell research in there. There's patented research in there. And I've been using it now for two months and I absolutely love it. It's my night cream and oh, it's just very, very, very good. What's your favorite lippy of the moment? Will you get the new Hermes line? Oh, I didn't know Hermes is coming out with makeup. Oh yeah, that's right. I did see that. I did see that. Um, I, I don't know, maybe a couple pieces. I don't, I don't know. Um, if something, if it looks like something that I'll be interested in, I'll probably get something. My favorite lippy of the moment. Oh no, don't do this. Okay. Favorite lippy of the moment. Um, let's see. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, I've been using the um, Lisa Eldridge Velvet Muse a lot lately. That's the one that's in my um, my white coat. Jennifer, I'm very skeptical and bought her work. I'm, using, I'm, I'm 16 concerned Botox for her for the lines. Um, do you have a favorite essence like SK2? I love SK2 essence. I think out of everything that I've tried so far, that's been my favorite. Oh no, it broke you out. Pass return for Sephora. You know what? The SK2 Essence is, it really is the best. It's such a hefty price tag, but it really, really is the best. Um, there's a rich version. Yeah, so there are two versions of the butter cream. There are, it's a rich and a regular one. Right now I'm using the rich cream because it's winter time and that's my night cream. But um, once that one is finished, I have um, a backup and that's the regular one. Top five Tuesday on skincare, please. Okay, I'll let Michelle know that. How many micro uh, microneeding sessions did you do? Um, so Anna, in when I did it three years ago, three four years ago, I did five. This time around, I've only this time around, I've only done two. I did one in um, I did one in November, and I did one in December. And I'm going to be doing one this month as well. Yes, I will be reviewing the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk palette. I have it right here. Yeah. Hi, Kimberly. Oh, it's here. <laughs> there you go. So yeah, definitely will be. Will you be an administrative sorts too? Your clinic sounds wonderful. Um, absolutely. So I want to be um, part of the residency programs. So I'm going to be doing that. So I got the hourglass and then I also got the Dior, the new Dior concealer, which this thing is huge guys. Look at this thing. Ugh. Get this thing open okay like look at this thing it's like foundation <laughs> it's like it's like a big fat <laughs> so i got this in the shade 3w let me put it next to it has a big doe foot applicator so i'm gonna be i know i'm just gonna end up using this as well as like i'm put all over my face <laughs> so i'll be doing yeah that is huge 
right? And then that's what she said, right? <laughs> All right, so blend it out. Yeah, that's my skin tone, pretty much. So compared to the hourglass, when I'm looking at it, it's gonna be hard to tell for you guys, but look how much this is like brightening and this is more like concealing. <laughs> oh God, you guys, speaking of, that's what she said. Girls, ladies, guys, my friends. It's just been way too long, if you know what I mean. But I need to get divorced. <laughs> and I need to be ready and I'm not, you know. I may like say, yeah, oh my God, I need this. But yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I need it. Don't get me wrong, I need it. But the moment like one of my friends would be like, oh, I want to set you up in front of like, <laughs> no, don't, I'm not ready. They're like, okay, okay, okay. I'm like, I just can't. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, um, um, Miss Cute Beautiful, I, I got everything. I got the intense um, lip liner lipstick. I got the medium lip liner lipstick. I got the, um, I got the new um, intense blush. So other um, things that I got, I got the Cogendo um, High Definition, oh no, Natural Lighting Powder. Because when I was in New York, I, I kept bugging Michelle. I'm like, what's your favorite loose powder? And she said it's this one. So has any of you guys used this one? Yeah, the Hourglass oh, it was um, definitely brighter. Definitely brighter. This one looks like it conceals more. And this one's brighter. So I should probably do a one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one eye and one on the other and see. Yeah, so it comes with a puff. So, yeah. So, Lauren, this is your favorite? Okay, because I'm really looking forward to trying it. And I did buy the Tati um, Blendiful. So I'm really looking forward to doing that. Like, I think it might be a good idea just to... Um, yeah, Coke and Dough. Well, I started a new hashtag. It's called, it's hashtag, it's Michelle Wong's fault. And then I got the Tatcha, um, the Kisu lip mask. So I got that. So that came in today. So um, you guys know I'm obsessed with lip masks. I love the Laneige lips mask. I bought the um, Biosance lip mask and I finished that one. I am 43. The guys out there are not that great. You know what? Yes, Kimberly, that's it. It's Michelle Wong's fault. You got it, babe. <laughs> you know what? You're right. Because I feel like, well, I'm I'm 38, right? So for me, I'm like at that, at like a point where I'm like, okay, like I, you know, if, if, if I meet a guy that's like similar to my age and he's never been married before, I would be like, why? What's wrong with you? I, I would think something there's, well, I think that's weird, you know? But then like, so then I think I might need to meet a guy who has been divorced before. And um, maybe that, that would be something that I would be able to relate to more. My hormones have left the building, LOL. <laughs> Not mine, girl. Not mine. They're, they're raging. <laughs> I'm like a teenager all over again. <laughs> Wait for Michigan? I know. I know. I know. That's that's the plan. That's the plan. I'm I mean, I honestly, I'm not I'm when I got married, I was 25, right? So I met my ex-husband when I was like 23. So so the the world was very different at that time in terms of how things are. I mean, now people do like dating apps and they you know, do things online. And I, I, that kind of stuff like makes me very nervous. And I know a lot of people who have met, uh, met their future husbands, future wives online and it's fine and everything. But for me, I feel like it needs to be much more organic. Like I am more old school. So it's like, I feel like I, you know, meeting someone at work or meeting someone through friends or going to the grocery store. I don't know, you know, but I'm not looking for it. That's hundred percent for sure. Cause right now I'm very focused on myself and focused on myself growing, my career growing, my life growing, me becoming a better version of myself and just being focused on myself because I was in a 10-year marriage that was horrible, it was abusive, 
and I got out of it. So I got my freedom back. And so I feel like I need to just focus on me and the thought of getting into another relationship right now is just, it's just not there. Like I can't do it, but where were your, were your parents strict as far as who you married? No, they were <laughs> no, not at all. My parents, um, they came to America. My mom was 19 and my dad was like 25. So, um, when they came, they came really, Oh, thank you, Lauren. So when they came to America, they were very young. And so they assimilated very quickly and then they knew that their kids who are, you know, born and raised in America are going to be interested in other kids who are born and raised in America. So, and the aunties are vicious to set you up. The guys online are psycho. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, no thanks. Um, so my parents, I met my husband because he was my friend or my ex-husband. My, he was my friend first and it became, and we developed a relationship. And so my parents were totally, they let me do what I needed to do. They told me don't marry him. They're like, he's not up to your standards. And they were right. But I was young and I was very stubborn. And I was like, my parents are from India. They're from Hyderabad, India. Um, and so I was young and stubborn and I was like, I'm in love, this is my mom. marry him, I run off with him. So my parents were like, okay, 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 fine, you can marry him. And of course, when I was like, all right, yeah, I do. I have a wonderful relationship with my parents. My parents are the shit, you guys. They're awesome. You know, they're super supportive. They're always been there for me. They're very loving. They're they're the type of people that are like, like, like they tell you they love you like all the time, and you have to talk to them like all the time and say I love you all the time. You know. <laughs> Yeah, you know, so I was young and dumb and stupid, and I thought that, you know, he was the one, and in the beginning, you know, he was, but that all went uh, went downhill, and they were right, you know, he wasn't up to my standards, and I've learned that, and I will not let that happen again, so this is the Kisu, ooh, it looks cool, it doesn't really have a scent, at least I don't smell anything right now, it's very, very, very nice, let's give it a try. Oh, it feels like the Laneige lip sleeping mask. That's what it feels like. Oh, thank you, Amanda. <laughs> Were you and your siblings spoiled? Um, I think I was spoiled because I was my dad's favorite. So, um, and I was the middle child and I was born after six years my older sister is six years older than me and I was born like six years after. And so my parents were like really, really happy when they had me. So I was definitely, um, I was spoiled. <laughs> I don't know about, you know, the rest of the kids, you know, they, my parents did, um, you know, you know, I'm, I'm fortunate that, you know, my parents, um, my father and my mom, you know, they worked hard and they we were able to kind of have, you know, live, we lived a good life. We weren't, we never struggled or anything like that. But um, as far as being spoiled, I was definitely the spoiled one. Damn, you're on, you, damn, you're on your game product wise. Thanks. <laughs> and then um, I got these two um, shampoo and conditioner. I got this from my, um, my stylist at the hair salon. I never heard of this brand. It's from, um, I think it's from, where's this from? Made in, okay, made in Japan, but distributed in the USA. This is the Milbon Smoothing Treatment and the Smoothing Shampoo. So I got these two. Oh, thank you. Thank you, IV Chemical. Bye, Lash Love. Bye-bye. Take care. Yeah, so it's gonna. I'm gonna give that a try out and see how um, how it works out. I mean, if I like it, I see something on Instagram. Then I had to head to YouTube, and you you physically have it. <laughs> you know what though? I feel like that's part of being um, a, a good YouTuber is you got to kind of stay up to date and everything. And I just love. I just got the cleanser. Michelle talks about the retrieve. Yes, I need to get that. I saw. So when I was at her house, I like was going through all of her stuff. <laughs> I was like, 
you know, going through and like, do you want this? Do you want this? And she had like all this PR on her um, kitchen table. Um, did you order your new bag yet? No, not yet, because I'm waiting for my um, my sign on bonus to come in. And then that's what I'm going to do. Um, bye, Chris. Thank you so much for stopping by. Bye. Bye, Aisha. <laughs> so, so I'm going to get actually the Celine bag. So let me show you guys. Let me show you the Celine bag that I'm going to get. Okay. Celine. It's the Celine, like the one that the love you and your channel. You have such a fun positive. And I always look forward to watching. Oh, thank you, DG. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm new. What's up? Hello. Thanks for stopping by. So let me show you the bag that I want to get. It is um, bags, luggage. I think it's called the micro, micro luggage. Um, where is it? Yeah, it's this one. No, not the mini, this one. This is the bag I want to get. Let me show you guys. You're the, you gotta do the same at Miss Michelle. Still periwinkle? Yes, it's this one. That's the one that I want to get. Be right back. Okay, Jennifer, no problem. We'll still be here. This is the one I want to get. It is so cute. And it's perfect because it's well structured. So I can take it to work with me. Well, it's not actually, it's called micro, but it's a big bag because it's a luggage bag. So it is, I'll tell you the um, product details on it. Um, it is 11 by 11 by six inches. So it's a pretty good bag. Are you doing, yes, the blue one. Yes, I'm, that's the one I'm gonna get. So it's a big bag and it, it has a handle, there's a five inch handle on it as well. So it's not small, it's called micro, but it's actually not a small bag. It is just, oh, it's just so cute. I love it. I can't, I can't wait to get it. Oh, <laughs> I'm thinking about doing like um, an unboxing video for you guys when I finally do get it. Yeah, that's a, it, it is a good size because I need to be able to, I want to take this to work with me and I want to have everything in there. Like I want to have my white coat in there. I want to have my stethoscope in there. I want to have my dictating thing in there, my dictating microphone. I need to have my iPad in there. I need to have all this kind of stuff in there. So that's, that's the plan. Yes, I will do a um, unboxing video for you guys. I think that'll be fun. <laughs> do you guys have any other questions for me? Yeah, so that's pretty much all the stuff that I got. And I'm like looking at these Pillow Talk swatches and it's pretty, it is really pretty. I'm looking for a new pup, can't remember the kind that you have. I have a Shih Tzu, I have two Shih Tzus. Daisy, let me show you guys Daisy. This is Daisy. No, I did not buy the Charlotte Darling palette because they were, it was like, they were all like um, uh, repromos, so I didn't. Did you did you do them when you were in? Did you did you them done when you're in Vegas? I'm not sure what you mean, Yvette. Are you sure everything will fit in bag? I think yeah, I think so. Will you review the new Tom Ford foundation? Yes, I need to do that. I got a sample of it, and I need to um, try it out. I want to wait until it's at Nordstrom, and now they like delayed their um, their release date. So, oh, my lashes. No, my lashes I got done in Chicago when I came back home. And she did a really, really good job. And this is like a lash lift. So, no, I'm not getting the new Sydney Grace palette. I've been hearing like so many things about it. She gets shy. She gets shy. Uh, oh, yeah, the Hyped Up Bite Beauty Foundation? No, I don't think so. Whoa, I almost fell. <laughs> <laughs> Cookie, 
Could you, would you, could you do a video on the Nordstrom CT palette if you have it? I actually don't have that palette. I didn't end up getting that one too because it just looked so light. Oh, thanks, Grace. Yeah, Daisy is adorable. That's my baby girl. <laughs> but I really like these colors. These are like really speaking to me. And I think this would be good for like using at, you know, like every day. So it's going to be, I really want to compare though these colors to the Pillow Talk palette. No, it's not that it's under my price bra bra bracket. I, it's more because I just, I'm not, I'm not interested in it. Um, it's just, I, for me, I feel like if I'm interested in it, I'll pick it up. If I'm not, then I usually don't get it. Okay. So the CT palette is identical, nearly identical to Charlotte Darling. So if you have it, the new palette is a dupe. What do you think of the Dr. Barbara Sturm products you hauled? Okay, so as far as the dark, the Dr. Barbara Sturm products I hauled, so I my um, SA at Nordstrom, she sent me like a bunch of the little samples of the different serums. So I tried the clen the cleanser is what I bought, the enzyme cleanser is what I bought, and I love those two products. Like I absolutely love the two cleansers. They are amazing. I went ahead and I purchased the toner, which I'm going to use after I'm done with my good molecules toner. And, um, I actually really liked the, um, Barbara Sturm face cream, the, um, face cream. I got one, not the new one. I got the one in the light that's meant for normal to oily skin. Um, once I am done with my, by my like jar of the Charlotte Tilbury stuff, I'm going to go ahead and, Oh, I know Jennifer, you are kidding. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye Charlotte. Thank you so much. Um, what do you think about the RMS products? I think you're picking some up with my Sephora discount. Um, RMS stuff is good. They have a lot of good stuff. I haven't used it in a while. I think I used a lot of their stuff more when I first started YouTube. When will all the reviews be up? Hopefully soon. I mean, now that I can, um, I need to, I know where my box is that has my camera in it. So once I kind of get all that set up, um, I'm going to go ahead and get that, all this kind of stuff started. The glow drops. I didn't, you know, I didn't, I really didn't find the glow, glow drops to be that, um, that awesome. Anything glowy sounds sounding, I'm hooked. I'd rather use the um, Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. That gives me more of a glow, whereas it felt like, or even the, um, what is it called? The, the Wonder Glow. Wonder Glow will give you a nice glow, whereas I felt like the glow drops kind of, I, I tried them out on, on my hand and I didn't really think anything of them. Intrigued me because anything glowy sounds I'm hooked. I feel like Dr. Barbara Storm products are misleading because she was an orthopedic surgeon, but everyone assumes she was a dermatologist. Yeah, well, the thing is, is that with the orthopedic, her being an orthopedic surgeon, is that she figured out that um, when you take, um, she's kind of the one who pioneered like the microneedling um, in the regenerative medicine about taking, you know, your um, plasma and um, using that to regenerate cells and things like that. So she kind of pioneered all of that stuff as her as her job as an orthopedic surgeon. So I can see how she kind of went from this to that. So one of those kind of things is is that although you're she's not a dermatologist, she did come across and do a lot of that studying and was the one who started the whole kind of regenerative med medicine and re using your own blood cells, um, using your own plasma um, cells to really change the structure of collagen, the structure of your skin. And so that kind of goes along with what um, what she did and how I can see how she did that. Um, did you, hi Mona, did you get the intense CT intense cheek blush? Yes, I did get it. Um, yes, she started the vampire facial. Actually, it was Barbara Sturm who started that stuff, or she was part of the people who started that because there's a lot of people who say they started it, but she was part of that a whole like beginning phases of that whole thing. Um, I, I did get the Pillow Talk Intense Blush, and um, but when it gets here, I will use it and do a video on it. Vampire facial uses someone else's blood. I thought they use, yeah. Um, I thought they use your own blood though. I thought it was, that was the whole thing. It was like, they take your blood, they put it in a centrifuge and then they take the plasmas that come up to the top and that's what they use to help with the regeneration. I may be mistaken. Um, maybe that's not vampire facial. I haven't like actually looked up vampire facial. That's what I, thought, I assumed it was. So I'm not sure. So we should all, we should, we should all look it up <laughs> just to be sure. So 
What is on your beautiful lips now? This is the Tasha Kisu. That's what's on my lips right now. My MUA Norsum says the Dr. Sum new lifting serum is great. Yeah, so I heard about the her new lifting serum too. Um, but did your makeup artist say that it's good for like before events or is it good in terms of permanent um, permanent um, lift? That's what I wanted to know because when I'm reading the description, it sounds like it's very good for um, like a temporary lift, but I wanted to know if it helps. Um, did you find benefits from Vampire Facial and Dermapen and PRP? Absolutely. Oh my God, look at this. This has changed like so much. And like, as far as like, I get it done underneath my um, eyes too to help thicken the skin. It's done that really well. My thing is, I just wanna, my, it's my cheeks that bother me. They're like, I just wanna like. <laughs> um, use your own blood. I have had injectables. Yeah, so you can get the PRP injected to, in, underneath your, in the deeper layers of your skin too. Thank you. Yeah, my skin has gone through a lot. And it's funny because like I look at like pictures of myself from like 10 years ago. My skin looks so much better now. I'm seeing her tomorrow for $300. I hope it had some long-term effect. Yeah, let me know because when I was reading the description, it sounded great for like a celebrity who needs it for long-term effects. I'm interested to know. There's Oh, thanks, Brenda. Yeah, I've seen a huge difference in here too. How many treatments do we need to get the results? I think it depends on how um, how bad your skin is. And uh, I think that you only need maybe anywhere between like three to five. Your skin from when I first started following you to up until now in you, well, oh, thank you. Oh my God, I look at my like first YouTube videos and how heavy I was and like how big my face was. And like, I remember how unhappy I was when I started and I was like, damn man, I've come a long way. I have come a long way. Oh, thank you, Monita. <laughs> Bye Bonnie, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, so let's, has keto been good to you? Yes, so I need to get back on keto. I got off for the holiday season because it was just really, really hard to be at work and to go to these like holiday parties and participate. Um, and I just don't wanna do that. Please never get your lips done. So I got filler done November of 2018. That was the last time I'd filler. So I don't have any more filler in my lips now. This is pretty much it, this is what I got. I feel like my lower lip is still um, plump. And, but my top lip is black back to where it was, but yeah, I do want to do a little bit right, right here. Maybe just a tiny bit. <laughs> because just to even it out a little bit, but we'll see. Yes, you look much pretty. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, Celine. Thank you, Lulu. Um, so, yeah, I'm getting back to my keto diet. So, I'm um, in Orange, I participate in Orange Theory. Um, and so, um, if you guys don't know what Orange Theory is, it's a like workout um, place that does, um, kind of like hit workout, which is high intensity, um, interval training. And it's an hour long and you have someone coaching you through it. You do it in a group. There's different things you do. And I absolutely love it. So I'm doing that. And on starting from Monday, they're doing like an eight week transformation challenge and I joined their challenge and I'm going to be back on my keto diet. Um, this weekend, I'm getting back into ketosis this weekend. So I did your quiz on, on your Insta where you asked people to guess what work you had done. Yes. <laughs> uh, clean eating has such a positive impact. It does. So do you recommend lip fillers? I recommend you doing what makes you happy, okay? So if you are, you know, unhappy about something and you want to go to a plastic surgeon or a dermatologist to get uh, like get it done get it done do what you you do you you know you do what makes you happy do you have cheat days so that's the thing is that now that i'm back on keto now that when i'm going to get back on keto start from saturdays when is when i'm going back 
to my keto diet. I'm going to be fasting this weekend. Um, I'm not going to be cheating. Your lips look insane. Thank you. I haven't, I, I know like last time when I went to see Dr. Russo and he was like, wow, you know, he, he's like, it's been, when was the last time we did your lips? I'm like, November of 2018. He's like, you haven't had your lips done in a year and they still look really good. And I'm like, yeah, but I don't even feel like I have any like filler in my lips anymore. He's like, you probably don't. It's just, this is just what your lips look like now. So it's awesome. Bye Brenda. Thank you so much. You're the best. Um, I miss your and Michelle's top five Tuesday. Please start it again. Okay. I know we got to get back to doing that. She's traveling. She's actually out of town right now. And, um, Yes, I watch Botched. It's a great show. <laughs> I, that's what I'm saying. Like, I love um, like plastic surgery, reconstruction. Like, when it comes, like, I should say cosmetic plastic surgery. I love um, medical aesthetics. What about fillers in general? Bad idea or good if you do go to legit place? Um, I say when you when it comes to fillers, like I actually got trained and certified in doing Botox from the nose up. And then I can, I got certified in doing filler from the nose down. So I, I know how to do filler in the, these areas, the nasolabial folds, the um, marionette lines, which ugh, I hate, you know, and then I got trained in doing it on my lips and I have been practicing, practicing learning. I'm not doing it on like patients just yet. I'm doing it more on, um, I'm doing it more on, um, Family, family, friends, family, and coworkers. Um, I can't have fillers. I have fibromyalgia. Does the fibromyalgia? How does the fibromyalgia affect? How do the fillers affect your fibromyalgia? So, what are your thoughts on having kids? So, real quick though. So, in fillers, be conservative. Like, start slow or start a little bit, and then build your way up as you like. Because keep in mind, as soon as you put Filler in, it causes it, um, causes a swelling, inflammatory reaction. So it swells at first and everything looks a little bit more puffier or more bigger. Give it a time to kind of calm down and then see if you feel like, okay, I, I want to get more of this. Like if you want to do wherever you want to get filler done or if you want to do your lips, like be conservative a little bit because if you put way too much in, you're going to look weird and it's just not going to look natural. And you don't want to look like you got work done. You want to look like, that's you. <laughs> so what are your thoughts on having kids? Um, I don't have any children. I have fur babies and, um, foreign stuff in the body, too much swelling. Yeah. I mean, if that's what, I, if that's, if that's not, if that was doctor recommended for you, then definitely stick to that. Um, as far as kids go, um, you know, right now I don't have any, if I find someone, get married and have kids, great. Um, but there's no de desires right now, but I told myself that if by the time I'm like 42 and if I don't have children, um, I'm probably going to adopt a little girl. That's what I want to do. Can fillers move or is that a myth? Sorry, but you seem to know a lot and I'm always so confused by articles on the internet. Um, fillers move. No. Once you stuck, if it's somebody who did it, who knows facial anatomy and they put the filler Fillers should not be superficially applied. They should be usually applied pretty deep because you want to fill up. You don't want to look like you have a pillow face like Madonna. So, oh, chronic headaches and migraines. Botox works very great. I have a lot of patients who get Botox done by their neurologist for their migraines and they love it. I can have Botox, LOL. <laughs> yes, Botox is good. There's a, hey, you know, it's, it's preventative. <laughs> Um, and it helps to kind of soften up lines and, you know, I like, I think, I think Botox, I tried, um, new talks this last time around. So I got new talks done. So I always get it done here and like here. So it lifts up the brow. So I get it done there. This is where I get it done. What type of doctor are you? So I'm an OBGYN. I'm an obstetrician gynecologist, but I'm also board certified in family medicine. So I'm double boarded. Yeah. I'm thinking single IVF as a last resort. I'm done with men. Yeah. So I, I went down that path, um, about thinking about doing, um, you know, having a kid myself, you know, but, um, my parents like freaked out cause they were like, you're going to have a baby with some stranger and we're not going to be okay with that and blah, 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 blah. And so I was like, you know what? I don't need to have, I don't need to go through pregnancy. There's plenty of kids who like in India, for example, 
that need um, our orphans. So I'll adopt. Um, how long is the recovery from nose job? Okay, so um, the initial recovery um, from the swelling when you take the splint off and your nose looks like a potato, <laughs> that takes about a couple months. Yeah, because it looks weird. You're, look you're gonna look weird for a couple months. Your nose is just gonna be super like big and like swollen. Yes, there are tons of kids up for adoption. I'm struggling. I struggle with infertility. I'm thinking about adopting. You know, and, and don't get me wrong, adopting is expensive too. I looked into that. IVF is expensive. Adopting is not cheap either. So the thing is, is that you got to do what's best for you, and you got to do what's best for your family and what you know your beliefs are and what you. Yes, we've already done IVF. Yeah, so you've you've gone down that path. And, you know, you got to do what, what, what works best for you because it's all, it's, yes, it's all expensive. Because I was like, oh, I'm just going to adopt, you know, this like freezing my eggs and this all this stuff is going to cost me a lot of money. And then I looked into adopting and I was like, holy shit, that's a lot of money. <laughs> but it's fine. So you're right. Um, but times are changing. At what point do we decide what's best for us in the long run versus what's our family culture's thing? You know, I, I feel like um, I found a good... For me, you know, like adopting a little girl would be a good like option for me because um, I feel like I'm doing a, you know, helping this kid out and um, being able to, there's so many out there, you know, and being able to like help at least one of them out and um, provide a good life for them and education and things like that. That for me is what I'm like, okay, but that's, that's how I feel. But if I get married next year and I'm like ready to have a kid, I'm going to do that too. So that's always, um, so Oh, thank you, Amanda. I know I got, don't worry, Lauren. I got rid of that guy. I was like, uh, but his to answer to his question though is yes. <laughs> um, I'm 38. I am 38 years old. So yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh no, a stupid Kindle. All right, so let's talk for another like, 10 minutes and then let's let's wrap this up guys when i try to come okay <laughs> lauren <laughs> you want to know the answer to the question that's what it is oh laura laura lee i love it in the color did i miss a comment so Going to makeup. Is Chanel worth the hype? I love Chanel. I absolutely love Chanel. Bye, Celine. Thank you so much. Have a good night. I love Chanel. I, I I think it's worth the hype. You know, like I'm a Chanel girl. Like I grew up watching my mom wear Chanel. And then grew up to going to Chanel counters when I was in high school and then in college. And then do you have any favorite products from Shantikai? Um the Shantikai Rose de Mai. Um, moisturizer is very nice. Um, also the Shantikai, um, the future foundation is very nice. I think I want to try a highlighter. Not sure which one, um, Chanel's, oh, Chanel, the highlighter, the balm highlighter. It's like a cream highlighter. I keep thinking I'm like, no, I don't have anything here. When you review the new CT palette, can you please do each of the looks of the palette as the current reviews I do have mixed up the looks? Yeah. You know, I think that's a good idea. Um, it will probably take me. Like what I'll do, I'll probably like um, film each of the looks. Cause yeah, no, I'm not gonna mix it up. I'm I'm gonna stay true to the Charlotte DNA aesthetic. Yeah. So, Lauren, your ear earrings are gorgeous. Which ones? I'm not wearing any today. How about your favorite Sicily products? So I haven't, the only thing I've tried from Sicily is their mascaras and their mascaras are pretty good. I haven't really tried much of anything else just because it's just, um, 
would be a doctor great enough for you or is having a baby really important to you? Wondering if career is enough. Would being a doctor be enough for you or is having a baby really important to you? Um, I, well, that's the thing. I think having a, a kid is important to me, at least one. That's why I, if I don't have one myself by the age of 42, I'm going to adopt a kid because that's how I feel. But it also depends on how I feel by the time I'm 42. Am I going to be like, oh, my God, I'm freaking tired. I, I, I don't think I can manage a child. Then that's different. I mean, right now I'm like, yes, you know, it, it sounds amazing. I want to have one. Um, it would be nice to be able to have one on my own. But if I don't, but I don't know. We'll see how it goes when I'm 42. <laughs> I might be like, oh, no, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't doing this anymore. Um, oh, the new Chanel ones. Thank you. Oh, my God. I know. I, like, left them. I left all my Chanel stuff at Michelle's house. She had to, like, mail everything back, so I'm waiting. Um, I'm excited to try the new eyeliner from Charlotte. Me, me too. Has CT ever approached you about doing something together? She should. So Charlotte knows me by name. She knows me as Mona and everything like that. She's never, a, no, she's never, a, I haven't seen her since, um, I think last year, not, not 20, not 18, 19, but 2018, I think April of 2018 when she, um, came to Chicago, she's coming to New York and I really wanted to go. But the problem is, is that I'm working day. So I was off. Um, Dominica's talking about the new Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk eyeliner. Um, how much were those? The, the Chanel earrings, I think, were, like, with tax and everything, it was, like, 400 CT should send your pack, your you PR packages. Honestly, you should go to review as you are mine. You know, I her her PR team is like hasn't sent me anything in all of 2019. The last time they sent me anything was for holiday of 2018. They sent me a bunch of stuff, but her PR team sucks. Yeah, I just I was watching Tati's video too with Charlotte before I I, I came on live. Yeah, Kitty Alert. She wants some love. Say hi, Mama. Yes, I did buy Tati's new uh, Blendiful. That's my baby. That's Gizmo. She's always needing. Look at this. <laughs> She's always needing. This my little baby. This my little baby. She's a blue golden Persian. She's so cute. Thank you. I, I, you know, I really think that her PR should send me stuff too. Um, but whatever, they're cheap. They don't want to send, you know, they send all the UK bloggers and I get it. It's more of a UK brand, but still, you know, is she a ragdoll? No, she's a Persian. She is a Persian. Look at these little feet. Look at these little feet. So cute. She like always wants attention. <laughs> Chanel, should, Chanel sends PR to like the really big bloggers, you know? So um, that's one of the things I noticed. Um, I've seen CT like your posts on Insta, so I don't know why you don't get sent stuff. I know, she does. She, she or her team always likes my posts and they always comment on my like videos and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that doesn't mean anything. I mean, it's like you are a big blogger. Well, I'm not a blogger to that blogger as in like typing blogger who does like, who uh, does posts and stuff. I don't feel like she sends that much PR to like YouTubers. I have worked in PR for years and if people just held up the stuff they got, they would be off the list pretty quickly. Um, they would be, I have worked in PR for years and if people just held up the stuff they got, they would be off the list pretty quickly. Oh, thank you, Jennifer. You do reviews, you work with the products, you should be their dream client. You know, <laughs> I, try, I try, but you know, it, it's okay. Because at the end of the day, um, I, I get it for myself and if you get some PR stuff, you know, great. Like I'm very thankful that Dr. Jen Gross's team sends me stuff because I use their stuff a lot and why not join a PR agency and do it part-time as you make the videos anyway? 
Um, I don't know. You know, like I feel like there's a very fine line between being an authentic YouTuber and somebody who um, does things as part of like an agency and then has like um, like requirements and like deadlines and then restrictions and things like that. So I, you know, like I get, you know, you, you know, you get emails from these agencies, but then I'm like, no, I want to do things on my terms, my way. And I want to be as authentic as I possibly can for my subscribers because your reputation, your authenticity, um, your, you know, integrity means everything, you know? Yes, they own you, exactly. And I like being freelance when it comes to YouTube because I want to do things the way I want to do it. Like, whenever I get people who are like, I want to send you this stuff, but you got to do a video by this date, I'm like, F you, man. I'm not doing anything by what date. I do things when I want to do it. No one tells, nobody tells me what to do. <laughs> you know, it always reminds me, it always reminds me of that quote in um, the movie Dodgeball when Ben Stiller goes, nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Like, that's me. <laughs> bye. Bye, Marcor. Thank you so much. I had Color Sense as a client, and all we asked was that they do publish review, no conditions, no requirements, just show a box or product. See, that's the right way to do it, but these companies, that's not what they do. Yeah. My father. <laughs> like, I always tell my the, tell the, the residents that I work with, the physicians, the young physicians, I go, if anyone ever tells you to do something that you don't want to do, all you say is, you ain't my daddy. <laughs> all right, guys, I am going to head off. I got to be at Orange Theory tomorrow morning at 6.15. So it was a pleasure talking to all of you guys. I love you guys all so much. You guys are the best. And thank you so much for taking your precious time out of your night to spend it with me and um, be a part of this little community that we have together. Um, I do wanna do these more often. I am in my new spot now. So I will be doing um, decluttering videos, decluttering videos, and then things that are um, in a good resellable condition. I am gonna start a little store on Poshmark and um, be selling a lot of the stuff that I never really use. So I think that would be another thing, cool thing to be able to do. Uh, I love you guys, all right? Everyone have a very, very, very good evening. Uh, and you guys, can you, yep, I am gonna do lots of decluttering videos because here I'll show you guys, I've got a lot of boxes here that are going to be need to be decluttered and with makeup it's amazing how much makeup i have I'm like boxes full of makeup and i don't need all that kind of stuff and i'd rather have it go to somebody who yeah so yeah i'm gonna do a makeup sale and um yeah i will see you guys all very soon have a very good night i love you guys all right bye um i did get um the tom ford quad in um one of, one of them I did get, Noir Fumé, and I will definitely, definitely, definitely be doing a review on that one. All right, guys. Bye. Have a good night.